Putting the comfort of your nine to five job and going into business for yourself, it's scary, especially when you're going out on your own. But for our next guest, that gamble paid off thanks in part to her sister taking a leap of faith with her. It sure did. The New Jersey sisters now run a homemade bath and body shop in Montclair called uh, Dolly Moo. Joining us now is Nikki Silva, the co-owner of Dolly Moo. And uh, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So I know your sister was not able to join us for the interview, but we're sure glad you're here. Can you talk a little Thank bit you. about how the two of you got into business together, the backstory of it all? Sure. So um, it happened very organically and naturally. I had started making these body scrubs and one day I was at my sister's and she fell in love with them. So we start talking and she's like, you should really do something with this. Um, and I looked at her and I was like, do you want to do it with me? And she was like, sure, let's take a chance and, and do it. So uh, my sister had an extra room in her house that we designated, we called it the Dolly Moo room. And we went and got some bowls and ingredients. We decided to, for to form an LLC. Wow. Uh, we trademarked our name and we just began mixing and went from there. Very cool. In, in your name, Dolly Moo, what does that mean, by the way? Um, so the name comes from our Yaya. Yaya means grandmother and Greek. And she helped raise my sister and I. Um, and it was just the term of endearment that was very near and dear to our heart. Um, oh, I didn't know you had that picture. I'm going to try not to cry. Oh. <laughs> um, so she was very, very special to us growing up. So when I was trying to think of a name for the business, I was thinking of Greek goddesses and things associated with with water. Um, and then one night I was just home. I was on the couch. I started to think about my childhood and my life and the name Dolly Moo. I heard her voice say it in my head. And in that very moment, it just it felt like that that was it. And I'm so glad that we stuck with that name because her spirit is so woven through our business and uh, it keeps us going and we feel like she's always watching over us. Oh, that is a, that is really a special place for it all to begin. So, you know, becoming a business owner, we know doesn't happen overnight. What was that process mm -hmm. like? How long did it actually take from the time you thought about it to, to where you are right now? Mm -hmm. Um, it was pretty slow and steady in the beginning. We had started the business in 2010. It was homegrown. Um, we had started selling our products at um, festivals and craft shows. And then I think it was around 2012, we actually had gotten into a whole uh, a few Whole Foods markets, which was great. That gave us a lot of credibility. Um, but it was really in 2015 when we decided to open up our brick and mortar storefront in Montclair, New Jersey, where the business just started to bloom and blossom and it was the best decision that we ever made Great. you know I, it's interesting because I, I love hearing these stories of people that that go out on their own and they create something and they, they they have huge success as you have so when you started was it one of these things where you started really small and you kind of built up gradually and you know the steps kind of you know one thing led to another thing or, or was it something that just it was a boom explosion no, it was it was very um, slow and steady for yeah. us. We were very careful. And plus, my sister was still nursing. Um, I was working in the restaurant industry. So, you know, we had to take our time. We had our this this was kind of our side gig. And then at some point we had to make a decision. All right, what are we going to do with this? My sister had stayed nursing for quite a while. She she just had the opportunity to leave about a year ago. Um, so now we're really together building this business. And it's amazing that that we've been able to get here from from so small. Wow. Um, well, it's always it's always great to see that. We love hearing about small businesses in the tri-state area. Nikki, it's nice to have you join us. Tell your sister hello. You. Maybe she'll come by next thank time. You. And if you want to <laughs> visit Dolly Moo in person, they're located on Glen Ridge Avenue in Montclair. You can also order online. Go to dollymoo.com as well.